It's time for another Dice Tower review with the Chief, Bart Brunsheen. Hey, it's the Chief of the Dice Tower, and today we're going to be talking about Cluster Fight. Also, our hat, just trying to keep up with the Tom, baby. I got my game face on because Cluster Fight's all about party gaming and fighting and whatnot. Uh, just so you know, Cluster Fight, imagine apples to apples. You've got that whole judge thing and everybody else throwing out a card. Uh, it's going to be an elevated level above that and then kind of cards against humanity without the dirty. Uh, what you're doing is, is everybody's got a hero or someone that's going to be a fighter, um, Boba Fett, Care Bears, and Barney, all right, and several more. Everybody throws in their fighter. You then bid on who, or not bid, but vote on who you're going to think is going to win. You do that with a secret card. So you pledge your card down saying who you're going to vote for. You can vote for yourself to win. Now one person is the judge, so they're not involved in the fight. And then you go reverse order and everybody gets to throw in what they call battle cards. We'll get in and show you a closer look and I'll show you what those battle cards do right now. So let's pretend we're doing a six player game and I'm the judge. Let's just say that uh, Tom throws in Sasquatch. We all know him well. Tom thinks he's going to win the big uh, battle one-on-one. -on -one. We then get, uh, let's just say Sam throws in Dr. Evil. All right. He thinks he's bringing the hammer. And by hammer, I mean, let's just say a hammer. We got Homer Simpson comes in. Z, of course, throws in Homer Simpson. Seems like he would enjoy him. And let's just say my good buddy Bruno's playing and he knows I'm a big Boba Fett fan, my most favorite villain, so he tosses in Boba Fett. And finally, I don't know who this would be. Let's just say Eric Summer is playing and he throws in Miss Piggy. All right, that's what he had. He's a big fan of the Muppets. He tosses her in. Then you take turns actually betting on who's going to win. So this would be, let's just say Tom was Terp purple he threw in the sasquatch card so he can now vote now he could vote for sasquatch so if he thought hey you know what i think sasquatch is going to win he would just put his little vote card down and say all right i voted and then after we're all done of course he's going to reveal yeah i voted for myself but let's say that uh he knows tom knows i'm a big star wars fan and he even knows i'm a big boba fett fan and Let's just say that uh, Bruno over here is black. And so he's gonna say, well, Bruno's the black player. So I'm gonna actually vote that Boba Fett's gonna win. So secretly, Tom will put his vote down and he's just gonna vote that, hey, you know what? I don't think Sasquatch is gonna hang. I think Boba Fett's gonna get it. Everybody else will do the same with their cards. They each have their own little color deal. They'll make their bets. And once their bets are done, now you get to mess with things a little bit. So now that everybody's got their bet card down, they pick the fighter they think is going to win, you go to what's called the battle cards. Battle cards feature several things. They've got items, actions, statuses, battlegrounds. Um, we'll start with like an item. So let's say Tom says, you know what? I already bet on Boba Fett. Everybody's bets are down. I'm giving Boba Fett a heat-seeking missile. Tom loves weapons anyway, and he knows I'm a big Boba Fett fan. And he says, you know what? That little rocket that's on the back of Boba Fett, it's a heat seeker, which makes him be able to take out any of you guys. So you're, you're really talking your guy up. It's all, it's almost, it's the play of it. It's, it's the, the trash talking that's kind of going on as you're playing it. And when you got the right group of people, beautiful. So let's then say uh, we get uh, uh, the next guy in and says, you know what? It's actually a parable. This isn't just a fight. It's, uh, it's actually unbeknownst to the fighters. It's really a test of virtue. So now who's most virtuous? I don't know if that's Boba Fett anymore. Uh, I don't know, whatever. So you can see how you can go around and change it. We get to someone else and they say, you know what? We're changing the whole battleground. This battleground is actually going to take place instead of just on a blanket plane or whatever. It's going to be on a high, a high wire without a net. Bam. So who's going to be better at that? You come around and somebody says, you know what? It's a beauty pageant. So this fight is now a beauty pageant. Now I've played with some people that'll say um, it's a parable and it's a beauty pageant. I've played with some that like to say, hey, I played this later, so I trump your deal. Um, to me, we kind of just go with whatever makes sense. I like it being a beauty pageant that's a parable at the same time. I think it can be both. 
So there's a little bit of just, hey, what works, what's fun. And then let's just say Eric Summer has Miss Piggy. He picked Miss Piggy because he also had poison lipstick. Hello. And he knew he was going to give her that item. And let's just pretend he even bet on himself, baby. He knew, hey, you know what? My guy's going to bet. Now, again, when you're betting, um, you're not throwing your card on somebody because you're just saying, hey, I bet. And then when you reveal it, you're going to say, yeah, there it is. I bet on, in this case, blue. Of course, if he bet on himself, he would have picked green. Uh, he would have said, yeah, boom. All right, so that's all done. And then just like apples to apples, the judge is going to come in and just start doing his thing or her thing. And I'm telling you, same deal with apples to apples. The more you get into the selection and why you picked who you picked and, and how the people sold their person, the more fun it is. I mean, right off the bat, I'm going to say, well, it's a beauty pageant. Um, Sasquatch is out. I mean, we just don't even want to see him. He's just too much hair. We don't know what's going on. Boom. Sorry about that. Bad choice there. Dr. Evil. Um, you know... It's also on a high wire act and he's a little bit awkward and he stumbles around. If it was a little bit more brain power, I would go with it. Now I'm going to say Miss Piggy. I think pigs can be pretty agile. Uh, even though it's a high wire act, it is a beauty pageant. This is her strength. She's trying to kiss everybody. Um, I think she's probably kissed Homer and Homer ended up, boom, getting knocked out. We're down to Boba Fett. And here is the problem. Boba Fett's got a mask on. She can't kiss him. He's also not only got a heat-seeking missile, he could take her out if he needed to. He's got a jet pack. Jet pack. Now, the parable is he's super quiet. I think it's all about patience. And when you're the most patient guy out there, you're going to win. And boom, and sure enough, Tom made the right selection. Whoever throws in the fighter that's selected gets two points. Anybody that bet on the fighter that won gets a single point, and of course, you can bet on your own fighter. So you could pick up three points in a round. So that's the idea. That's cluster fight. All right, we're back. So you've seen how this works. It's pretty simple. I'm going to tell you I had such a fun experience with this. I love this. I was at the 2014 BGG Con. Uh, I had done a organized event. I only do one every year there. And after that event, we were all hanging out in a suite, and some guys said, hey, let's run down. I was just play a game in the suite. And they came back up with Cluster Fight from the BGG library. I'd never played it. Loved it. It was such a good party atmosphere game with people that you haven't played with. Um, you know, we just had such a good, good time. It's got that kind of competitive strong feel that Apples to Apples doesn't have to bring. Um, and all the flavor of that judge type game where you're really pushing for and trying to sell your guy and the ability for you to add a rocket launcher to Dora the Explorer and make her into a real bad dude. That is great. So um, if, if you're into that kind of party game uh, and Apples to Apples Plus and you're tired of <laughs> Cards Against Humanity going dirty, you're going to want to check this out. Matter of fact, I talked to the designer and he just said, hey, we're looking at even more expansions. Oh, I've got to show you. Sorry. I know they were in the deal, but I want to show you again. They've come out with a sci-fi expansion. They've got, uh, and whose army is it anyway? So they're expanding. And they came up with the gangs all here. So they're coming in with battle cards. They're coming in with uh, new fighters. You got a whole bunch of like Spocks and stuff and whatever's in here. And he said, hey, can you give me any other ideas? Uh, we're just looking for more ideas. And I said, yeah, what about 80s TV shows or 70s TV shows? I'd love to see the Partridge family go up against Darth Vader. Okay, and then you turn it into a beauty contest or a tightrope walking contest or whatever. So that is the light, fun beauty of the system. Now, now I've worn this shirt before. This shirt surprised me. I picked this up at Goodwill. Now I'm going to expose my belly, but it's got my game face. This is my game face shirt. So bring your game face to Cluster Fight, baby. And if you got it, bring a hat. It's the Chief from the Dice Tower. Game on. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. 
The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.